today on Living Hakuna. We go on a two-week vacation with my adventurous family and finish up with a multicultural party. I'm Andrea, that's Alejo, and those are our pairs, Ozzy and Echo. We left the corporate world in Miami to become digital nomads and chase the wind kiteboarding. Join us as we sail an adventure in our dream home, Hakuna. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So if you saw last week's episode, you know that we have been in Deltaville Marina for two weeks now and we will be going on a vacation with my family for the next two weeks. We'll be heading to New Hampshire and Maine and we're really excited because we haven't spent that much time with them. Um, and yeah, we're pretty excited to kind of take a little break of you know the everything on the boat because then we'll start heading south and we'll be going to the Bahamas. But what I wanted to show you guys is a little update on our plans. I know when we were in North Carolina, we told you guys about like our garden, what we were planting, and we haven't done an update since. So I'm gonna do a quick little update. So a lot of people actually worry that you won't be able to have plants on the boat because of the salt and just the overall environment. But what we have done, has really worked out for us. So if it's a storm or if it's like really bad weather, we just bring them inside the rest of the time. They're always out here and I'll show you guys. So this is our tomato. And you'll see that it already has a few tomatoes here. We have like 14 tomatoes, another one here. So the basil looks beautiful. It's really, really doing great. We have already used it plenty of times. We have the mint here and we just kind of cut it because sometimes they just need to get a little haircut. We have also our onions, green onions. And this one, and we actually bought them from the supermarket and then just put them in soil and it just grew a lot. Uh, we also have our parsley, which you guys saw when we were making the crabs. It's also looking really good. We have cilantro here. It's really nice and we have jalapenos and you'll I'll show you guys here look it already has a few jalapenos here so the plants that th we didn't have much luck that we also zucchini. planted were the zucchini and the carrots and I don't think it was because of the environment or anything to do with like living on the boat but it's just because the pots were actually too small for the carrots and too small for the zucchini so we've been trying to grow spinach here but for some reason we haven't seen it yet but now i the other day i was eating strawberries and i just threw a few seeds and we started like two plants started growing so i'm not sure if they are strawberry of their or if they are spinach that week we rented a car and left deltaville for a two-week vacation we headed north to lancaster in pennsylvania where you can find one of the largest amish communities so tell me andrea where are we right now we are in a tour of the Amish farm and they have a bunch of cute animals, goats and cows. And can you hold my dog? The Amish are a group of traditionalist Christians that believe their faith calls them to live a lifestyle of hard work, simplicity, and humility. Their traditional lifestyles stay away from modern practices that include the use of cars, electricity, technology, or fashionable clothes. It almost felt like being back in the 1900s. They move around using horse-drawn boogies, they don't use any public electricity or machinery, and forget about owning a TV, cell phone, or even accessing the internet. How long would you guys be able to live like this for? Let us know in the comment section. Huh? New York, New York. What's up? What's up? We continue heading to our next spot, New Hampshire, where we saw the red and colorful trees of fall for the very first time. And we got New to go on York. an awesome hike with our family. So, we're gonna be doing a hike, it's a one hour hike. <laughs> and we're with the bears. We are, this is our first hike. We're gonna be doing two weeks of exploring with my family, my parents, my sister, her fiance, and the dogs, and Alejo and me. And we will be exploring New Hampshire and Maine for the next two weeks, just taking a break from the boat from the life. boat life. All right, here we are at the Basin Cascade Trail. That's the name in uh, Francona Notch State Park. There's Thea 
Ozzy, Echo, and Alejo. Alejo, say hi. Y ahí está la mamá. Está cascada tan linda. Daddy. Y Franco. En Franconia. Look at this beautiful river. So beautiful. Hi, Patty. Hello. I know it's beautiful, right? If you've been following us for a while, you probably know that our girl Echo is fully blind. She lost both of her eyes just one month before moving on board Hakuna. And that's why one of the most beautiful moments during this trip was seeing her overcome so many obstacles during the hike. We've learned to become her eyes and guide her. She has developed all her other senses so much that through sounds, vibrations, and smells, she's still able to join us in all our adventures without any exceptions. We can't imagine ourselves walking through mountains, trees, rivers, without seeing anything. Yet she's been able to do that and so much more. Honestly, four years ago when we rescued her, we never imagined that a dog would be able to teach us as much as he has. Ahí, arriba. Good girl. Acá. Por acá. Good girl. Ahí. Muy bien. Eso. Por acá. Aquí. Aquí. Eso, por el palito, vamos. Por el palito. Muy bien. After enjoying New Hampshire, we continue heading north to our next and final stop, Maine. What's up, everyone? What's up, people? So where are we right now, baby? In Maine. In Maine. Maine. And we are in Arcadia National Park, but well, not really. Arcadia. We are in Bell Harbor. Oh, Arcadia National Arcadia. Park. Arcadia. Hello, cuñado. No, no, no. My cuñado is in a bad mood today. Hi, cuñado. Are you in a bad mood? He's in a bad mood because he got woken up at like 7 a.m. <laughs> it was like 6.30. And he's grumpy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we call him Mr. Grumpy Girl. <laughs> so, we are in Bar Harbor. And we're at the bay. We would normally anchor here if we had our boat, but we don't have our boat. And there's my family. Hello, Petita. Anything you have to say to the camera? No, I think we're at Bar Harbor, Maine, and it's beautiful out here. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> Hi, Mommy. Hi, Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> Maine is known for its seafood, so Alejo had to try everything from the oysters to the lobsters. We also enjoyed the beautiful park of Arcadia. And most importantly, we had the most amazing family time. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday. 
Exagerado. Espíritu de aventura. I don't tell them too often. But they are my biggest blessing and I'm so grateful for having them in my life. Maybe you too should tell your loved ones how much you love them today. Since I know mine are watching, I love you guys. I love you all so, so much. My parents have been traveling South America as overlanders, so we learned a few things about their lifestyle. But after two weeks, we were ready to go back to the boat. Overlanding is definitely not easy, and although living on a sailboat isn't easy either, we seem to enjoy that kind of work a little bit more. I still wanted to show you guys what an overlanding vehicle looks like, and this is their traveling home, or their home on wheels. My parents slept on the tent on the roof of the car, while we slept below the awning as it converted to a tent. And honestly, before it started raining, it was actually really comfortable for us and the dogs. Their tent is very comfortable inside, and a lot more protected from the rain than expected. Nonetheless, my parents will soon be joining the RV lovers, as they feel it's time to travel a bit more comfortable. On the other hand, you have my sister and my brother-in-law, and when we were back in Miami, they were just starting to build their van. Well, now it's ready and they've moved into their first home for this amazing van life experience. This is a 170 Mercedes Sprinter van and in here, Natis and Franco have it all. This sofa can actually be pulled out into a bed and this is where Alejo and I will sleep when we go visit them. You also have a full kitchen and a comfortable queen size bed. Below this cushion, they have a pull out shower. They can just hang it right from the top. Right next to it is the compost toilet and they also have plenty of storage in their living space and a great garage for all their gear. One month ago, they joined my parents and us in this alternative lifestyle, and we're so excited for them. What can I say? I guess we're not too traditional and the love for adventure just runs in the family. It was time to say goodbye and finish all our boat projects for our time in the Caribbean. Last week on the marina, and I'm gonna try to change. We're gonna take off our bedroom window and put it back on because it's detaching from the boat and I put some suction cups so when I detach the window from the inside it doesn't fall in the water you can see just by pushing how the window comes apart so the window was was like loose here from the bottom but it's still holding on from the top and that glue is like super hard to get off but I want to take it off because I don't want to sail with that window like this Remove the window, please! So we have a hole in our boat. Yep. That's a big window. It's a big window. Please, please ma'am, do not drop the window in the ocean. Oh, that was hard. Yeah. Two hours later, and we Two took Two hours out later, literally. Look, I'll show you guys from here. So. This. We have to remove this with like sick of And our tin suck. So now so it's sanded in with alcohol. Here's the window, it's all cut. So we cleaned and sanded also the window. We're gonna put the primer, Sika primer, 209.
Okay, so right now we're putting the Sika Flex on the fiberglass. We already sanded the fiberglass. And what else did we do, babe? We primed the window. Primed the window. You can see the window here. We already put all the primer around the window. Our battery died in our camera, so I couldn't record like when we put on the window. But here it is. That's how it looks like. The Sika Flex is holding. And how we did is we put the two big suction cups through the inside and pulled the window in. And we left it for four days for the Sika Flex to dry. And yeah, that's it, that's the window. After getting our boat ready for our passage, it was time to say goodbye to some great friends we made at the marina by having a Latin party. We showed our American and Dutch friends the different rhythms we enjoy dancing in South America. And we even got them dancing. See? See? You see? I feel yeah, like that. Yeah. 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 So this will be natural for so you, Lynn. Sure. Oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. can see you. how easily this comes to me. Right? Okay. I love salsa. How much you? How much No way. Yes. How do you do that? Oh my God. Get my camera. Like, uh, there you go. To the side. Uh, no, no. I feel like I don't know what to do. Exactly. Like one, two, 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 one,